What excites people the most about diving? I think it's the adventure. Most people want an adventure. We've spent more time on the moon than we have in our oceans. You have that chance to explore and see things and possibly discover things that nobody else has ever seen. There's lots of different things that draws people to scuba. Uh, one is scuba diving is an extremely adventurous sport. Uh, we're a very high risk, but high reward type of sport. My most memorable dive just happened. Uh, we were at a place in Indonesia called Manta Ridge, and I had this, this Manta, 15 foot wide Manta, that decided I was her friend, and she hit me in the head. And the first time she hit me in the head, on the top of the head, she almost knocked me out. And I was a little surprised by that. The next hit, she hit me in the back of the head. And then it was almost like she felt bad. So she would just take the tip of her wing and just slightly just pet my face. And I know you're not supposed to touch the animals. And I did everything not to touch her, but she just, she had to touch me. And then she left. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's, that's kind of neat. And then we had a couple other mantas come in the area and they were just kind of hanging out. And, and then off in the corner, there she was. She was off in the corner because she came right in and she hit every manta that was in the way out of the way. And she went over the top of me and she wrapped her wings in and she kind of just pushed me down like she was trying to protect me. Really weird to have a manta interact with you that way. Even the dive masters are like, we've never seen an interaction like that creature interacted with you. So I will remember that always. The most fulfilling thing about teaching someone how to dive is seeing them 10 years from now still diving. Or seeing them so passionate about diving that they're sitting here interviewing you about diving because it's something that they actually love and that they enjoy. Just to see their eyes open to an entire new world that they didn't know existed really. Um, and for me, that's, that's the reward to see that smile on someone's face, and that's why I keep diving. Scuba diving itself is an adventure every time you get into the water. You have to anticipate so much of what could possibly happen and plan for it. So that adventurous spirit is really what kind of keys in on that special person who's willing to learn to scuba dive. I'm just glad that when they decide that they want to be certified, that I'm here to be able to help them through and that I have the training agency that allows me to adapt my training to what their needs and wants are. My biggest challenge is making sure that scuba diving is actually right for that person learning to dive. So sometimes we have to do a lot of psychological work with them to bring them from where they're at to actually being certified. If I've trained you, I know how you dive, how you're comfortable diving, and I'm gonna sell you equipment that I know is gonna last for a very long time, that's gonna be good for you, and then I'm gonna take you into the pool and I'm actually going to train you how to use that equipment. You don't find that online. They just wanna make the dollar and away they go. When you go on a vacation and you get done diving, I'm gonna take that piece of equipment back and then I'm gonna be the one that's servicing and taking care of it. Talk to anybody who dives regularly and it's changed their world. It's changed how they've looked at the world. It's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle that not only will change you, but has that possibility of changing the world and changing how other people look at it. Get on board. Thank you.